Hello. So there's this documentary about Tucker Carlson, and, and, and he says some really outlandish stuff, including that nuclear weapons and nuclear technology is, is demonic. Um, he certainly doesn't understand how science works, that's clear. Uh, but but in any case, you know, uh, uh, who made nuclear technology? Was it the aliens? Was it demons? Was it, was it angels? Who knows? Who knows? But tar tar Tucker Carlson is going off the deep end these days. So uh, please t bear with me. So first, we're going to look at this clip. This is from The Bulwark. They are looking at a clip from something else. I couldn't find it. So basically, this is this is what we're going to watch. And then we are going to see what we can learn. Watch the full clip. Nuclear weapons are demonic. There's no upside to them at all, and that anyone who claims otherwise is either ignorant or doing the bidding of the forces that created nuclear technology in the first place, which are not human forces, obviously. And let me just ask you this, which I've asked a million people at dinner parties, but never in public. What was the moment w we can point to that nuclear technology was invented? I mean, you know, we can we can point to Isaac Newton and say what happened fell on his head, or we can, you know, we can point to Albert Hoffman in his lab messing around with the, you know, ergot bacteria. That's when LSD was made. I mean, just just leave it at that because it's it's crazy enough. So he doesn't know when nuclear was invented because there should have been one particular moment when nuclear was invented. And I am going to show you that this is not the case. So let's start off by a quote by Isaac Newton. And I believe that Carlson even invokes Newton at some point. I believe that we just heard it. And Isaac Newton basically said, if I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. And he said this in the 18th century. Now, current discoveries and advancements are built upon foundational work of previous scientists and thinkers. And that's how humanity progresses. That's how science progresses. That's how you know, our collective knowledge progresses. That's how we discover new things. It is because somebody else has discovered a thing that helps us to do new discoveries, make new discoveries. And that's also how it worked with nuclear science, with nuclear energy, with the atom bomb, with, with everything that comes with it. I mean, if simply when you consider what nuclear actually means, you know, nuclear, some people think that it only means uh electricity production. Some people think that it only means atom bombs, but it means so much more. We use it in medicine. We use it in, in, in hospitals, but we also use it in factories and, and we use it in, in, in construction work and in road, road construction work. Uh, we use it to disinfect, uh, disinfect the mail. Uh, we use it to, to make sure that, you know, certain parasites get, get, get zapped. I mean, there's, there's so many applications for nuclear, for radiation, uh, that it isn't even funny. So let's see how we got to this nuclear age that we're living in right now. So we start at, in, in ancient Greek, because that's basically where the idea is born of atoms. We get to consider Democritus, who lived from 460 until 370 before Christ. Then we get Epicurus, who basically expanded on the eighth atomic theory. He suggested that atoms move randomly in a void. And, and, and these, these were the materialists in, 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 in ancient Greece. And void and, 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 and atoms were basically the only two things that could exist in their, in, in their imagination or in their view. Now, we go a long time with any without any real scientific breakthroughs on on, on this on this uh, in this field so Klaproth for instance Klaproth he discovers that pitch blender contains uranium and it w it it was named after the the planet uranium now pitch blender is something that you can still find out in nature though we have mined a lot of it because it contained pretty high grades of ore uh, high grades of uranium but you know that's just uh, it, it's not even not even the most earth-shattering discovery here then we get john dalton john dalton he developed the atomic theory proposed that each element consists of unique atoms each element then we get dmitry mendeleev right 1869 
He started working on a periodic table, organizing elements by atomic weight and properties. Then we move on to the discovered discovery of radioactivity and early atomic models. We start with Willem, Wilhelm Röntgen. You know, he discovered X-rays, uh, X-rays which were used to, you know, diagnose broken legs and such. Uh, you could actually see what, 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 what was happening inside a body without having to cut it open. This, this, was, a, this was really a breakthrough technology. Uh, then we get Henry Becquerel. He discovered natural radioactivity in uranium salts. And then you get Marie and Pierre Curie. Isolated radioactive isotopes or elements, polonium and radium. And they also advanced the study of radioactivity. Marie Curie, she's famous for also doing work during a war, uh, making x-rays of people and, uh, you know, really, really progressing nuclear, nuclear knowledge, knowledge about radioactivity, radioactive elements. Um, over here in the Netherlands, we have a radioactive waste dump. It's a waste repository. It's, it, it's laid out like a museum. And they have a piece of Marie Curie's uh, actual lab in, in there. It, 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 it's this pipe this, this with, with this purple color in it. And it's highly radioactive. And, and when it was there, uh, the guy who was showing me around, he said, listen, when they started, you know, checking all the stuff that once belonged to Marie Curie, they basically discovered that all of it was radioactive. Then we get Paul Villa in 1900. He discovered gamma rays. Then we get Ernest Rutherford, 1911, discovered the atomic nucleus through gold foil experiment, proposed the nuclear model of the atom. Right. Then we get Frederick Soddy, 1903, described radioactive decay as a transformation of elements, coined the term isotopes. All of this is very important. Keep, bear with me. The, the, the point here is that, you know, Tucker Carlson said that nobody took the time to tell him this, or nobody, nobody was, a, was, was even able to tell him this. Well, I'm telling you, the viewer, of this. If you know Tucker Carlson, point him my way. Please let them know that I don't think that I don't think highly of them, but that's that's a whole other thing. George de Havisy, 1911, pioneered radioactive tracers in chemical and biological studies. Then we go on to quantum mechanics and the advancement in nuclear theory. Albert Einstein, 1905, the same year the Wright brothers started flying, formulated E is MC squared. Showing mass energy equivalence, a basis for nuclear energy. Niels Bohr, 1913, developed the Bohr model, describing electron orbits, foundational for quantum mechanics. James Chadwick, 1932, proved the existence of neutrons. This is, a, again, foundational science, enabling further understanding of nuclear structure. Cockcroft and Walton, 1932, achieved first artificial nuclear reaction, splitting lithium atoms with protons. Irene Curie and Frederick Joliot, 1934, created artificial radioactivity by bombarding elements, paving the way for controlled reactions. Now, the thing here, and this is what some people might not understand, but a lot of these people were also instrument makers, right? Not, 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 not music instruments. They made their own instruments that they could do science, uh, scientific research with. You know, they, they had to make, they had to perform tests and they had to be able to, you know, see what was happening, observe the changes that were happening in these tests, during these tests. And to observe these changes, sometimes you needed a whole chemistry set, you know, all these, these, these glass contraptions. Uh, this is amazing stuff. These people really, really invented, you know, modern technology, the precursors to modern technology. And, and, and it really pains me that people like, like, like Car Tucker Carlson, who have millions and millions and millions of people, millions of people who follow him and listen to him for, I mean, sorry, with all due respect, I, I don't understand why. 
Uh, but these people, they now believe that, you know, aliens came bring nuclear technology to us or, or demons did it, you know, because obviously Kamala Harris is a demon and, and she's, she's part of the demon cabal. They are the people who are, you know, they want to destroy humanity. So that's why they, 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 they went through this, this 2000 year long effort in order to make sure that we, that we, that we ended up destroying each other. Discovery and development of nuclear fission. Lisa Meitner, a, a political refugee, uh, an Otto Hahn in 1938, discovered nuclear fission, splitting uranium atoms and releasing energy. These people did, did, did incredible science. But they could only do this science because of all the other people that we just mentioned. The discovery of the neutron, the, you know, the, the, the formulation of the atomic model, all of that stuff, the, the periodic table, understanding of all the elements, understanding of what happens whenever a, you know, a element interacts with a neutron. And then we get Enrico Fermi in 1942, who basically built the first nuclear reactor, the Chicago Pile 1. You know, he, he started the real atomic age. He showed that we could split atoms and that we could get energy out of them 200 200 mega electron volts out of every out of every reaction i mean this these people this person enrico fermi and the, here lisa Meitner and otto hahn and all the people who worked on the manhattan project they did foundational things but they could only do foundational things because generations of scientists before them already did answers some of the you know the elemental questions that needed to be answered in order to get up to that point we stand on the shoulders of giants the ignorance the ignorance that we see with these people like tucker carlson it, it, it it's just it's infuriating so from there we went onward yes we did it the developed the atomic bomb it was either germany or it was the united states and then it was either the United States or Russia, you know, that, that, that's just how it went. A necessity, the necessity of getting there first basically boosted research because we, we, we needed to be first. We, let's, let's call we the allies. We needed to be there first. So no amount of expense was, was spared in order to push this scientific endeavor forward all of these brilliance all of these brilliant minds I, I wrote written this down delivered to puzzle pieces needed to propel mankind into new in the into the nuclear age for good or for ill for good for good because nuclear civilian nuclear energy is a force of good in this world and after fermi you know all we needed to do was combine the technologies that we had and invent some new ones in order to harness the power of the atom. You know, we already had the steam cycle. We already know how to transport heat from one point through a, through a, through a system, make sure that it would drive a, 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 a shaft that would in the end get into a generator and there with all the magnets and the copper would generate electricity. We, that, that was technology that was already existing. We just had to adapt it in order to make it make it work with nuclear. That was all. So, um, yeah, what, who, who gave us nuclear energy? Was it aliens, demons, angels? Or, or was it just brilliant people? The, the people who had really, you know, the intelligence, the intellect, and, 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 and the inquisitive nature to, to, to go out and ask questions about things we didn't understand yet. So science works. That's my message for Tucker Carlson and his Christian buddies. And we will only progress if we keep asking questions and keep trying to innovate and keep coming up with answers to fundamental problems. And no demons or, 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 or aliens are required. And this is a bit of a rant, so I'm glad that you made it up until the end. Um, I want to thank all my Patreon supporters, obviously. Now, if you uh, 
If you want to add something to this discussion, please do so below. Leave a like if you think that this video was worth your while, if you learned something new. And please, please share this video because I'm growing this channel as we speak. I just, I got a hundred new subscribers in the past month alone. And this is what I do in order to make sure that my family can eat. Now, thank you all for watching and may the strong force be with you. Bye-bye. Wow. <laughs>